Good morning students today i will discuss the story of annie frank with you let's take a quick look at her life story annie frank was a jewish girl who became famous for the diary that she wrote during the second world war annie was probably the best known of the holocaust victims Holocaust was the systematic mass killing of European Jews in Nazi concentration camps during the Second World War. Jews are the members of a religious group. Things were going very badly in Germany at that time. Unemployment was high and many people were extremely poor at that time. At the same time Adolf Hitler and his Nazi party were gaining supporters by promising to solve the country's problems. The Nazis hated the Jews and blamed them for all the problems. When the Nazis came to power in 1933 hostility to the Jews increased. Annie's parents Otto Frank and Edith Frank decided to escape to Netherlands. They settled in Amsterdam. Annie soon felt at home. She attended Amsterdam's sixth Montessori school. She learned Dutch over there. She was a bright and inquisitive student who made many friends of various backgrounds and faith. Six years later. In 1939 the second world war broke out across Europe and in 1939 Nazi Germany invaded Poland and in 1940 the German army occupied Netherlands The Nazi occupiers made life increasingly difficult for the Jews Jews have to wear a Jewish star and follow a strict curfew they have to hand in their bicycles They were not even allowed in the tram or to ride in cars. Jews must attend Jewish schools and so on and so forth. On 5th of July 1942, after Margaret Annie's sister was ordered to report for a so-called labor camp, the Frank family went into hiding behind Otto Frank's business doors. It was a hiding place in the rear annex of his farm. In her diary, Annie described the secret annex with several small rooms and narrow halls. They were joined later by the Van Pels family and Fritz Pfeffer family. The eight people in hiding were helped by the royal staffs of Otto Frank. For 2 years they lived in their secret hiding place. Meanwhile, the Nazis had tightened their grip, organizing raids and arresting and sending Jews to the so-called labor camps. In reality, they were death camps or concentration camps where only Jews were kept and murdered subsequently. More than 1000 concentration camps were established during the history of Nazi Germany and around 1.6 million people were registered prisoners in the camps at one point. Around a million died during their imprisonment. Many of the former camps have been turned into museums. commemorating the victims of the Nazi, Nazi regime Anne Frank was a lively talented girl expressing her observations feelings self reflection fears hopes dreams in her diary on june 12 1942 any on any's 13th birthday otto frank gave her a red and white checked notebook This was the notebook that she had previously picked out at a local shop. 
Annie decided to use it as a diary. Her first writing in the diary was, I hope I'll be able to confide everything to you. As I have never been able to confide in anyone and I hope you will be a great source of comfort and support for me. She wrote in her diary. In her diary, Annie also wrote about living in the hiding place, the war and her thoughts and her feelings. But before she had finished, however, their hiding place was discovered and all eight members were captured on the, 40, on the 4th of August 1944. Annie's last diary entry was made on 1st of August 1944. German police stormed into the secret annex and everyone was arrested. They were deported to the concentration and the death camp of Auschwitz-Birkenau. After that, they were sent to Bergen-Belsen camp. It was overcrowded and people were full of infectious diseases. Two of the helpers found Annie's diary and kept it safely in case Annie ever came back. But she did not come back. In February 1945, Annie and Margaret died of typhus in appalling conditions in the concentration camps of Bergen-Belsen. Annie was just 15 then. Of the eight people, only Annie's father, Otto Frank, survived the war. When he read Annie's diary after the war, it made a deep impression on him. He understood how much writing had meant to her. Annie helped to publish her the book. Annie hoped to publish her book. So he carried out her wish. Convinced that it was a unique record, he took action and published it under the name The Diary of a Young Girl. Annie's story about life in hiding and the war was read all over the world. It had been translated into 70 languages. Her hiding place is now a museum and welcomes more than a million of visitors a year. Annie's descriptions of the time in hiding in the secret annex, her powers of observation and self-reflection, her fears, hopes and dreams still make a deep impression on readers worldwide. She was positive and tried to see the good in things, but her experience was a painful reflection of what so many people experienced at that time. So that was one of the reasons that after all these years Annie's diary still has contemporary relevance.